Welcome to this ASP.NET video on web parts. Web parts are a brand new family of controls that support personalized content and layout. Your end users can edit the content on your site and change the layout directly in the page. Plus it's really easy to write your own web parts too. I'm going to go ahead and get started by creating a new website. And we'll call this, uh, let's see, web parts. These things are a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing the demonstration for this. Um, we're going to start by dropping in an existing theme that has a style sheet set up for us to have three sets of columns, which I call Web Zone 1, 2, and 3. Uh, there's a video on ASP.NET themes and master pages, but for now we'll just leave this alone. We're going to build on top of that with a default ASP.NET page. And I need to make a few changes right here in the middle. I already have some code on the clipboard that I'll paste in. And you can see the way this looks with a couple of div tags. We have three columns. Oh, I forgot something here. In order to use the, the theme and the style sheet, I need to turn on themes. And to get our design mode to work, turn on the style sheet themes. Now let's take a look. OK, so we'll have three columns to play with, the blue, gray, and white. The blue and gray will contain our, the, the main content for our site, and the white area we'll use for configuration. Now before you start dealing with web parts, which is this big collection here of server-side controls, you need a web part manager. So we'll drag this on the page and just pretty much leave it alone for now. We'll interact with this a little bit later. In, um, now web parts, the way to visualize them, that they are a collection of controls, either user controls that you make or server controls that come with ASP.NET, and they live inside zones. So in order to get started, we need to drag a couple of zones onto our page. We'll just use these two. Now inside these zones, you drop in either regular ASP.NET controls like a calendar or, let's see, I'll drop in a... Um, I just need something else. I'll, I'll drop in a login control. So we have something to look at. And that's enough to get started. Let's, let me show you what this looks like in a browser. So there's not a lot we can do with this yet. We can, you know, we can hide these components and make them a bit larger, but that's uh, that's about it for now. So we're going to add some more functionality to our site. So if we go back, and I'm going to bring in a drop-down list box. It's inside this list box that we're going to um, switch use our use our uh, web part manager to switch the different modes. So I'll start with a couple of modes. The first is the one you just saw, and that's the that's the browse mode. The next mode we'll use is design mode. So in order to handle that change in the combo box, I've turned on Enable Post Back. That means whenever we change that, I'll double click to get the event, we're going to drop into this code right here. Now it's inside this code, we're going to put a switch statement that changes depending on what the user has selected. So I'll use a vb.net select statement. And by hitting tab, you can see this expands to something, um, kind of a template or placeholder for our code. So I'm going to switch on the drop down list one selected uh, the selected value and the first case is the browse mode and the second case is design mode. Now We're going to add a couple more here later. For now, um, let's see, we need the web part we'll set the display mode equal to the browse display mode and if we switch to design mode and the drop-down combo we switch to design mode. Okay, let me show you what this looks like. So if I choose design, now the web parts pop back up, but you can see I can drag and drop the different components between the two zones. So right now they're both in web part two. I can move this back to web part zone one. So that's pretty nice. Let's see what else we can do. So now I'd like to add my own web part or my own custom user control and that's really simple I will go and add a new web user control and this will just add a couple of numbers together so I'll call it addition and we just need a couple of text boxes and a button and a label to display the results in and I'll set the default value that equal to zero okay now when you click the button 
we'll create two variables. This one dot text and y and we'll set the label one text equal to x plus y. Something really simple. Obviously we're not doing any kind of uh, validation here but this is fine for now just to get the point across. So if we save this and close it by going back to the design mode on our main page we need to add support for users to be able to add or remove this user control from our page. So I'll make a little bit more room here. We're going to use another control called the catalog zone. Now the catalog zone will have a list of all the different web parts that you can apply to this page. So for the catalog zone, by dragging in this declarative catalog part right underneath it, I can then add my new control. And this is a couple of steps and take, took me a little while to kind of get used to it, but you have a catalog and inside that you have this declarative catalog. Now I have to click edit template. And what you're doing here by dragging this new addition user control into here, you're instantiating an instance and I'm able to drop in and give it a name. So if I go to the design mode, you can see our little web user controls right here, it's just one line of code. I'm going to give it a title called addition. Now it looks like title's not supported, but it is that is a tag that's supported by the declarative catalog part and that's important. Find our little drop down list right here and add something called edit mode or catalog, I'm sorry. We'll get to edit in a minute. And let's handle the catalog case. This means that you want the end user wants to see a list of the the options available from the catalog. Okay, now we switch back and hit refresh. We have a catalog mode. There's our addition control. I'm going to click on and add it to web part zone 2.